Hello again, MGTOW. Welcome to my truck. Uh, I figure this phone belongs to me, so I'm gonna turn it on and uh, just uh, spew out my truths. I believe um, this is the best time I have to, uh, and I'm gonna to, to drive and talk, and we're we're gonna I'm gonna make uh, good use of it. And what a better time than now? What a better time than today? Uh, here in beautiful country Pennsylvania. It's a nice sunset and wish to talk some mixed out, mixed out stuff. Uh, we are in highway, uh, Pennsylvania Highway 72, state route, and we're headed northbound into Interstate 81 in about a mile or so. And uh, from there, we're going to move on to uh, a different part of the country. Anyways, uh, the topic of conversation today is time. And uh, how women perceive time different than men, what it means to them, what it means to us. Uh, just some of the differences that, uh, you know, that time... has in store for each one of the sexes right so for men you know we see time as uh, in many instances as a as an either progressive or a circular uh, construct right either it either repeats itself it cycles like history repeats itself or it can be linear right uh, one thing after the next and uh, we can make progress, right? There, with that linear perception of time, uh, we have an idea of progress that goes along with it. Each day that passes, we, we can make uh, something better of ourselves, right? By working on things and improving, improving our performance, improving ourselves um, some women see time that way too but most don't most women live for the moment and the reason is uh, their <coughs> as I've mentioned before their perception of time is, is different than ours they're always waiting for something see they're on the wrong side of time time for them uh, it's a negative it means that excuse me here for a second guys I gotta make this turn put my attention into it make sure I do it safely alright that's complete so we're talking about time so um, yeah, they see they see time very different from the way that we do, right? They're always on the wrong side of time. Um, they have to wait for a man to come and talk to them, right? That's that's usually the case. Most women find the prospect of coming and coming over and talking to to a man uh, a scary thing to do. A scary thing indeed, right? Uh, you know, to the point where many of them find it. Uh, Unfathomable to uh, to even to even consider the prospect of of uh, being rejected, you know, the, the possibility of being rejected. And you know, that's uh, that's how they start with time, right? But then there's there's more waiting. There's there's much more waiting involved for them. They have to wait for the man after they wait for the man to uh, come and talk to them. Uh, they usually have to wait, uh, see if the guy's really interested. Uh, they they have to wait and see if uh, her uh, her declarations have had any effect on him, uh, so he can make advances, right? 
they have to wait for him after you know after she is involved in a relationship with him or gets involved in a relationship she has to wait uh, you know, for a ride she has to wait for uh, in the case of long-term relationships for him to uh, clean the gutters carry groceries up uh, fix the car mow the lawn these are all things that uh, she considers herself in many instances uh, powerless to be able to do right any tasks that uh, she either is, is incapable of doing doesn't want to do uh, whatever but uh, she, she for whatever reason she uh, she has come to depend on a man to complete these tasks for her and so she finds herself in a position where she's always waiting and so waiting is a negative thing for women the passing of time has a, a negative connotation indeed for her most of the time when she gets pregnant right well at first she has to wait to see if she's pregnant right and uh, if she has slept around been unfaithful to her husband she has to wait she has to wait and see if, uh, if the baby is really his right whether it's gonna be Chad's baby or Tyrone's baby right um, and before that she has to wait for nine long months uh, those months can be stressful to her right it comes with many hormonal changes in her body a time filled with anxiety she has to wait and so again waiting is uh, you know, time has a very negative uh, it, it means very negative things for women see so she sees time as a way to pen as a punishment. Uh, a punisher. Time is a punisher of women, and uh, to the so much so that if she, if she, you know, when she when she decides to go on a date, right, and in her calculating manner. She wants to test a man, uh, a man's uh, strength, right? The way that she thinks that uh, we should be strong. She uses time as a weapon, right? She makes him wait. She's late to the dinner date or, or whatever. Time for women, it's usually uh, a social weapon um, for men it's very important to be on time for appointments or this and that it shows that we're interested in the appointment in the job interview um, you know, we're, we're, it shows that uh, that we value what uh, yeah, what we're involved in right uh, but and I have to think of time also in uh, as a cultural thing in the case in the case of Latin America right uh, some of those uh, you know my, my uh, culture right some of some of the, the countries in my culture the, the, the gynocentrism has extended itself into every area of society to the point where people don't see time in the same way that uh, we see it here in the United States it's one of the things that uh, me a while to understand that cultural uh, perception of time and only now do I see that it has to do with the way in which uh, not just men but mostly women perceive time and how we value that time and here in the United States uh, being late to go and see someone for an arranged meeting or a date or a job interview it's, it's, it's rather offensive uh, but in, in some 
and I'm not gonna say all, but I know that in some Latin American countries and in other parts of the world, time. If you if you if you if you show up early or on time to a meeting, uh, 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 it can be seen as a sign of desperation. See, and that has to do, in my opinion, what I see from my perspective. I think it has to do with uh, the way in which women uh, perceive time and how that has manifested itself to different areas of uh, society. Uh, so, she sees time, again, as a, as a negative thing, and waiting, it's a big no-no. They're, they're no good at waiting, and they're, they'll be the first to admit it, and that's why they they mean you know, being women uh, that's why they uh, they live for the moment they, they want things now right uh, it doesn't matter uh, what the future brings enjoy now uh, and this leads to you know this leads people to make only short-term decisions it leads them to make only short-term decisions right uh, or decisions for the short term. Right? Uh, they they purchase a three thousand dollar handbag now because they have the money, or because the credit card allows them to. Uh, and uh, and then you know then they don't see the future, the consequences that uh, that are that are to come about as a result of those decisions. And. As MGTOWs, it's important that we that we take these aspects of time and others of which I am, may not be aware of, but you may be. I put in the comment section. I, I, I would love if you if you comment on this. Uh, but we take you know that those those ideas of, of time and. Uh, it's our job to make sure that time works for us and not against us. That we're not manipulated uh, by her perception of time. See? Uh, and time is a construct for men and women. It's a, it's a, it's a completely subjective thing. The mind perceives time different ways for different activities right sometimes flies sometimes uh, sometimes time flies sometimes it all slows down to a crawl right like have you ever had an experience that uh, just seemed to take forever and ever right? maybe there looking at the clock right and with every moment click tick tock tick tock passing of time but it all can seem so slow right? some people say that time flies when you're having fun for others it may be the opposite hopefully that's the case for you but it can be very subjective and what's interesting is sometimes we, we keep track of time no problem like uh, we wake up right like you know, we wake up at a time when we forget to set the alarm right and, and we're used to waking up at say six o'clock in the morning and uh, you know, there's one night where we forget to set the alarm but uh, sure enough we wake up at six o'clock in the morning the next day simply because uh, we don't lose track of time during the night when we're asleep, but sometimes we do. Anyways, it's, it's all very interesting, but uh, I've noticed that uh, men and women do perceive time in different ways, and women are usually on the wrong side of things, on the wrong side of time. Time for us can mean uh, a 
way to improve but for women it can be a burdensome experience having to wait and today because of MGTOW these girls are gonna find themselves waiting a lot they're not gonna like it they're gonna have to wait for us to shit so they can eat it'll be tough on MGTOW we've had enough Anyways, uh, thank you for listening, I'll catch you on the next video, do like, share, subscribe, I'll never ask you for a penny in this video, oh and by the way I want to give a shout out to Mike the MGTOW Monk, thank you for sending me subscribers and thank you to all my new subscribers out there, uh, it's a real pleasure making these videos for you guys, it, it, makes, me, it makes me think more and more every day. some research and whatnot I feel as though I have a, uh, an added responsibility uh, put on my life but, uh, but it's a welcome responsibility indeed and it's my way of uh, paying back the favor right uh, for the for the good deeds that other the other MGTOW that came before us uh, for the good things that they did for me so that's how I feel and, and if, and if uh, this channel is terminated on any day any given day for whatever reason um, you know then I took a cybernetic bullet for my MGTOW brothers right? and I'll just uh, if I can't start another channel I'll just you know, I'll just watch other videos from other men who have woken up and uh, hopefully be able, be able to comment and, and uh, stay in the, in the manosphere but anyways, uh, I think I've rambled enough for the day, and uh, again, I thank you for listening, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.